Hello, welcome to another LiveX unboxing. My name is Aubrey, and today we'll be opening up the UltraStream HDMI from Magewell. Now, we often use Magewell in our servers that we build, and as a fan of them, when they came out with a new encoder, we got excited. We are a live company, and any new encoders on the market, we pretty much want to get our hands on. So let's go ahead and open up the box. Actually, before we open up the box, let's look at the outside of the box. Oftentimes, the gift wrapping is the nicest part of the present. I hope it's not, but let's just take a look. There's a nice picture of the actual image with some cool design. Um, they do mention the app that you control it by. So it's got an Android and an iOS app, which is great. The back of the box has some specs for us. So it's got what's in the box. Um, it has the locations you could stream to with this and some other pieces of information. It also has a handy dandy. QR code, which if you don't want to have to search for this app on the App Store or Google Play, uh, then you could just click that on your QR reader and you could know exactly where you need to go. Awesome. So now that we've seen the packaging, let's get inside to what matters. So this is an easy slide. Awesome. And it's just a relatively easy open up the box and we see the device right on top. This is the UltraStream HDMI. Nice, so first glance, it's got two buttons. So you've got the red button, which says record on it, and then we've got this green button, which says live. Obviously, those do what they say they do. Um, it also appears um, there to be lights that would show up here. So we've got an HDMI light, which most likely has to do with signal processing and make sure that, that it's actually seeing an HDMI signal coming in. We've got um, Ethernet power, or Ethernet connectivity, excuse me, networking. A Wi-Fi light, so this is able to connect to Wi-Fi, which is super convenient, um, making your phone a hotspot, anything like that. And then a USB drive, so this does allow for you to plug in a flash drive, and that just makes sure that it is seeing it correctly. So on the front of this, we've got that USB slot for your flash drive, and then we have a mic um, eighth inch in and a headphone eighth inch in. So if you did not want to um, embed your audio on your prosumer camera, then you could do that right here, which is also an option. Also great to have a headphone in just to double check before you're streaming to know that you're streaming what you want to stream. Um, the sides are empty, and then the opposite end of this has an HDMI in, obviously from your camera, and an HDMI out, which is great because that allows for um, a loop out to a monitor. So if you have your camera and this, and you've got it on your phone streaming, then you could also send an HDMI out to a screen and be able to watch what you're actually doing. Great if you have a directing team and they wanna see it and they're in a video village or something of that sort. I think this generally is gonna fit better um, for a team of very low numbers. So I doubt that you would need um, multiple eyes on it. It's probably one or two eyes for the stream, but great to have the option. Ethernet, if you don't wanna use Wi-Fi, we're obviously a big fan of uh, not going wireless when streaming, so this is great. And then power itself, it's a DC power, five volt. Uh, so it doesn't take much power, also great. Um, let's dive deeper and see what else is in the box. So it says that there's a cable below, and I don't think they would lie to us. So let's see. Awesome. It looks like their HDMI cable that they provide is below. So it looks like it's roughly a six foot HDMI cable, so a decent distance. It's thin, so I wouldn't have it um, travel much farther than that anyways. And uh, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. You take this, either use this from your camera to the device or out of this device and into the monitor that you want to loop out to. Other than that, we've got the uh, quick start guide from them. So the UltraStream HDMI quick start guide, which can be super helpful. Um, it has obviously what's inside the box. So uh, if you were ever wondering after you'd open the box, you didn't see something you should have. Um, and then we've got the app download information with the QR code again, super helpful. And then connecting to your phone and the internet. And one more thing to open, we've got power itself. So it appears to be a DC adapter on one end and an USB on the other. So they provide this power brick and there you are. Uh, you could also use, if you're traveling with your iPhone or anything like that, that brick instead. You would just need this 
cable specifically. So that's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching another LiveX unboxing. Please hit subscribe, check out our other unboxing videos and our live show, Ready Take Live. You can also hit us up on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We'd love to hear from you and find out what you want us to unbox next. We'll see you next time.